Hi everyone, Brad here. Welcome to Airstream of Utah. On this Technology Tuesday, I'm going to talk about the Norcold All-Electric Refrigerator. Join me. 2021 and a half year models and newer, Airstream put in an all-electric refrigerator. And in my opinion, that's a pretty great upgrade. It does have battery draw, uh, so if you're someone who boondocks quite a bit, it does draw pretty good amperage, meaning about 6 amps per compressor per hour is what it pulls when it's running. So if you're someone who boondocks quite often, uh, you may need a more robust battery system and or a solar package on your rig to keep your batteries topped off when this thing is running. I want to talk about a couple of the features on here so you can better understand how to employ your all-electric refrigerator in the best way possible. First off is the button controls up top. So the power button, then you have a up down temperature button here then you have a button for the refrigerator part and a button for the freezer part if you have forgotten for some reason the dark shaded area on the button means that's the one you're controlling so for example the large dark shaded area here is i'm controlling the free the fridge and the small dark shaded area on this button beside it is i'm controlling the refrigerator and then i also have a night mode button the night mode button is actually really great as you're going to sleep at night you push and hold the night button mode the light comes on that means it goes into night mode so what it does is it slows down the compressor and the fan inside to reduce energy consumption and it's also quieter at night before you push the night mode you need to have cooled the fridge down one neat thing about the night mode is after eight hours it goes automatically back on to full mode so if you go to sleep at night, sleep your night for eight hours, it comes back on in the morning if the fridge is already back on, or you can manually turn it off. You can also adjust the hours on that if you need to, based on the settings, you just have to refer to your owner's manual to do so. Concerning the freezer itself, this freezer is not meant to flash freeze things, it's only meant to keep frozen things frozen. However, if you're making ice, for example, it recommends you put the ice trays on the bottom here at the coldest spot and let them freeze that way. One other thing is on the back side of here, you're going to have some condensation that's going to, you're going to need to defrost it on occasion. And it's not recommended to use a scraper or a knife or anything to, to speed that process up. Because if you puncture the back of this, it would not be ideal. I have seen people take the plastic cutting boards and put them against that back wall and just pull that off and then get all the ice out of the bottom. That's a very handy way to do that. Um, you can also adjust these shelves in here by removing the screw in the side and then lowering the shelf and then putting the screw back in. Pretty simple process. This model comes a trip with a travel lock that lines up right here on the side. Now to verify that without pulling the handle, I just want to pull on the fridge door itself or the freezer door itself and it should not open. If it does, you may need to adjust your latch here up or down or your door up and down to make it better. Concerning your refrigerator part, uh, these shelves are also adjustable should you need to. But you have plenty of shelves in here, so I don't know why you would. But the crisper drawers at the bottom, one thing is they're not dishwasher safe, so don't ever put those crisper drawers in the dishwasher. Second thing is make sure you always have plenty of room for air to circulate around inside the refrigerator and the freezer. If you pack it so full the air can't move around in there, it'll take forever to cool down and not keep your food cold. Whenever you decide to, you know, before you put food in here, you should give it at, at a minimum eight hours of cooling time, depending on the temperatures you're in outside. Uh, give it a minimum of eight hours of cooling time before you put food in here. And to reduce moisture inside the both compartments, let, if you have just cooked soup, for example, let the soup cool before you put it in here. Don't put it in here to cool it down. Uh, that'll reduce the moisture inside and help keep the fridge colder longer. That's it for this Technology Tuesday. If you have any feedback on your using the all-electric fridge, please let us know in the comments down below. If you have any questions about it, please give us a call, check out our website, or better yet, stop by. We'd love to help you out in person. Have a great day, everyone, and happy adventures. Mm -hmm.